The Snow Spell Chapter 1 The Frozen Discovery During an unusually cold winter, Axel, Lara, and Max found themselves surrounded by snow and ice. The weather had become so harsh that even their school was closed indefinitely. The trio, always up for an adventure, decided to make the most of their unexpected break by exploring the frost-covered forest near their homes. The forest, once familiar, now seemed like an entirely different world, blanketed in a thick layer of snow and ice. As they trudged through the forest, their breath visible in the frigid air, they stumbled upon a strange, shimmering ice sculpture of a mysterious figure. It stood tall and eerie, glistening in the pale winter sunlight. Intrigued, the friends approached it cautiously. Lara, ever the curious one, reached out to touch the icy surface. As soon as her fingers brushed against it, the ice began to crack, and a cold wind swirled around them, lifting the snow into a blinding flurry. To their astonishment, the figure within the sculpture started to move. The ice shattered, and a tall, ethereal being emerged, a winter spirit, with eyes that gleamed like icicles and a cloak made of swirling snowflakes. The spirit, angered by its sudden awakening, let out a chilling wail that echoed through the forest. Ice spread rapidly from its feet, freezing everything in its path, including the nearby village. Trees were encased in thick ice, and the ground became a slippery, treacherous surface. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Axel, Lara, and Max exchanged determined looks. They knew they had to act quickly to save their home from being completely frozen over. The wise old tales they had heard about the Ice Kingdom and its magical properties came flooding back to them. They understood that to stop the winter spirit and restore balance to the seasons, they needed to embark on a perilous journey to the Ice Kingdom and uncover the secrets that could save their world. Chapter 2 Journey to the Ice Kingdom Equipped with warm clothes and a map they found in an old library book, Axel, Lara, and Max set off on their adventure to the Ice Kingdom. The journey was treacherous and fraught with dangers. Blizzards whipped around them, reducing visibility to mere feet and making each step a struggle. They had to carefully navigate through snowdrifts and avoid falling into hidden icy crevices that could swallow them whole. To escape the biting cold and the relentless wind, the trio found refuge in caves along the way. These brief respites allowed them to warm up and gather their strength. Inside one such cave, they stumbled upon ancient carvings that hinted at the history of the winter spirit, adding to their determination to end the frozen curse. As they pressed on, they encountered a variety of magical creatures. Snow pixies, with their delicate wings and mischievous grins, fluttered around them, sometimes offering help and other times leading them astray. Frost wolves, with their glistening fur and piercing blue eyes, lurked in the shadows, some growling menacingly, while others, recognizing the purity of the trio's mission, guided them safely through treacherous paths. Each challenge they faced brought them closer together as a team, strengthening their bond and resolve. The perils they overcame only fueled their determination to save their village and restore balance to the seasons. Their perseverance was rewarded when they encountered a wise old owl, perched majestically on a snow-covered branch. The owl, who had lived in the forest for centuries, shared valuable insights about the winter spirit and the ice kingdom. He revealed that the key to restoring balance lay in finding the Crystal of Seasons, a powerful artifact hidden deep within the heart of the ice kingdom. With the owl's guidance, they learned more about the spirit's origins and the importance of their mission. Buoyed by this newfound knowledge, Axel, Lara, and Max renewed their journey with a sense of purpose. The map and the owl's wisdom pointed them toward the crystal of seasons, the only hope to end the winter spirit's icy reign and bring warmth back to their world. Chapter 3 The Crystal of Seasons 
After days of arduous travel, Axel, Lara, and Max finally arrived at the entrance to the Ice Kingdom. Towering before them were massive ice gates, fiercely guarded by towering ice giants. These formidable sentinels seemed impenetrable, their icy eyes glaring down at the intruders. But the friends were not easily deterred. Utilizing their wits and the valuable knowledge they had gathered along their journey, they devised a plan to outsmart the giants. Through clever distractions and quick thinking, they managed to slip past the guards and enter the kingdom. Inside the gates, they were greeted by a breathtaking spectacle of sparkling ice palaces, frozen lakes, and towering snowy mountains. The beauty of the ice kingdom was awe-inspiring, but the ever-present chill of the winter spirit's magic cast a somber shadow over the grandeur. The air was thick with the spirit's icy influence, reminding them of the urgency of their mission. Guided by the owl's instructions, Axel, Lara, and Max navigated through the icy realm towards the Grand Ice Palace. This was where the Crystal of Seasons, the artifact they desperately sought, was said to be kept. Their path was fraught with peril. They faced numerous trials, each more challenging than the last. They had to solve ancient, cryptic puzzles that tested their intellect and courage. They also had to battle ice guardians, fierce creatures conjured by the winter spirit to protect the palace. Despite the dangers, the trio pressed on with unwavering determination. Their bond strengthened with each trial, their resolve hardened by the adversities they overcame. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of icy challenges, they reached the heart of the ice palace. There, they found the crystal of seasons, glowing with an ethereal light, pulsating with the power to control the balance of the seasons. As they reached out to take the crystal, a sudden, chilling wind swept through the chamber. The winter spirit materialized before them, its form towering and menacing, eyes blazing with fury. The spirit was enraged at their intrusion and determined to stop them at all costs. The final battle loomed, and the fate of their world hung in the balance. Axel, Lara, and Max braced themselves, ready to face the winter spirit and restore harmony to the seasons. Chapter 4 Restoring Balance a fierce battle ensued as the winter spirit unleashed its full fury, conjuring deadly snowstorms and hurling ice spikes with precision. Axel, Lara, and Max fought valiantly, their determination unwavering despite the overwhelming odds. They used their resourcefulness and the magical items they had collected throughout their journey, each artifact providing a crucial advantage in the frigid onslaught. Axel used a shield made of enchanted ice to deflect the spirit's attacks, while Max wielded a blazing torch that could melt through the thickest ice. Lara, with her quick thinking and agility, darted around the battlefield, using a staff imbued with the power of fire to create temporary safe zones amidst the chaos. Just as it seemed they might be overwhelmed by the relentless assault, Lara recalled a legend the wise old owl had shared with them the winter spirit could be calmed by a pure heart and a sincere promise. Summoning her courage, Lara stepped forward, her voice unwavering despite the howling winds. Winter spirit, she called out, we recognize and respect your power. We promise to honor the winter and all its beauty if you will restore balance to the seasons. We only seek harmony, not destruction. Her heartfelt words resonated through the icy chamber, reaching the spirit's core. The raging storm began to subside, and the winter spirit's eyes softened. Slowly, it began to calm, its anger melting away like snow under the spring sun. The crystal of seasons, still clutched in Lara's hand, glowed brighter, radiating warmth and light. As the spirit's power receded, the harsh winter that had gripped the land started to thaw. The friends could feel the air warming around them, signaling the return of balance. With the winter spirit appeased and its power contained, the trio knew their mission was complete. 
Returning home as heroes, Axel, Lara, and Max were greeted with cheers and tears of joy. The village, once frozen and lifeless, began to thaw, and the first signs of spring emerged. Flowers bloomed, birds sang, and the world came back to life. The bond forged between the three friends during their perilous journey was now unbreakable. They had faced the wrath of the winter spirit and emerged victorious, saving their world from an eternal winter. Their hearts were filled with pride and gratitude, knowing they had restored harmony to the seasons and secured a brighter future for all.